Here is the power of the voice, not here, it's here. <laughs> So my name is Jens Vanet and I'm a 90 year old guy from Belgium and as you might or might not know I am taking singing classes and I started them in November for the first time, that was my first singing class and since then I've had already 18 singing classes. When I was younger I always like sang a lot around the house in like a lot of video clips that were taken from me when I was younger I was just singing and I was a free soul wasn't scared of anything specific and I was just like living my life but then when you grow up singing becomes something that's awkward around friends and you don't want to do it like for real for real because you might end up sounding a little bit bad or like off key and you don't want to like share that with other people you want to be within your comfort zone and you don't really want to share your voice while singing or that's at least what I experienced and I'm sure there's other people that experience this too it's just like a barrier that you have to go through and with all these doubts and like caring about what other people think about me and with not like allowing myself to feel the music and being free and just like trying I just never took a singing class even though that I really would have wanted that. And I don't know, my gap year, somewhere in my gap year, things have changed. I just found the free spirit in me again, like the free spirit that says, it's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to be not good at something and want to learn about it and to grow in that and maybe achieve something with it because it's honestly my goal and my wish to actually do something with singing because, I don't know, it just makes me happy, it's a cool hobby, I think, and I, maybe maybe I'm not gonna be this big pop star, maybe I am gonna be that someday, I, we'll see what my life will bring, but I just enjoy singing, and with the thought of not having to care about anybody else, and with the thought of I can try, I can make mistakes, I can learn and I can grow, I just thought to myself, well, what if it's time to actually take a singing class? And this idea was planted in my head, I think, about a year ago now. Then I had my gap year, I finished it, I worked a lot over the summer, and then school started again. And I thought, this is my moment. Either I take a singing course now, or probably I will never do it because I'm too afraid. And I just took my first singing course, and from there, it all started actually. And I already figured out some basic techniques so that I can work with already, and that I'm 
growing in and it just makes me really happy that I'm finally doing the thing that I was afraid of for such a long time and I don't know I'm just wondering why I'm still afraid to do the concert this weekend because I'm doing this concert on Saturday for about 50 to 60 people and it's the first time that I'm getting on stage in front of other people to perform something that's been in me for so long and my boyfriend is gonna help me with this he's gonna be my piano player so with the two of us we are gonna bring a little show um, there's multiple students of my teacher that will bring their own song I will bring two I'm yours by Jason M. Ross and July by Nora Cyrus and it's also the first time that Damon, my boyfriend, is going on stage, so that's also exciting for him. And the hard thing is that it's both our first experience and we have to make the whole thing compatible, like the piano and my voice. We have to make sure every everything is right and that the rhythm is the same and we have to like check in with each other, you know? But I'm pretty confident that everything will turn out good and that in the moment I will enjoy it. But right now, I'm still a little bit stressed, I'm still a little bit scared, but I think in the end, everything turns out good, always. So, yeah, let's start practicing. It's one week before our little concert together. It's the first time I'm performing for for like an audience and it's the first time he's performing for an audience. Mm -hmm. And we just rehearsed just like one time because I'm still scared to sing in front of his dad. So <laughs> that's why we only rehearsed once and that was today, like just right now. Um, but I have to go back home. So we won't see each other for another few, four or five days. And that's the first time we can rehearse again. And that's literally one day before the concert. So. I'm a little bit terrified, but from this thing that we just did here, I think it's gonna work out because actually it went pretty well. We just have like minorities that we have to like figure out and like fix, but I think overall we'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> Four days before the concert and I actually still have the last tips that I got from my teacher. And basically, it's like references of beats per minute that I got for the songs that me and Tam are gonna perform. We've also listened to some voice records that I made before with him. It's just little things like the meaning of the song for me and where I have to do Greek and um, what she thought about the piano, for example, how I can improve little things to make it even better. Alright guys, we're actually Thursday the 16th of May and well, Tama came actually unexpected today, so this gives us an extra day of practicing together. Um, yeah, I've got my microphone, he's got the piano and uh, let's figure this out, the last details of our repetition or whatever. So, da 
had je toch Intel X hebben, denk ik. Nee, nee, nee. Ik was vergeten welk stuk ik daarna had. Ah. Oké, okay, guys. Uh, last update from today. How did it go? Quite well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, honestly, it's almost perfect. We just have these little, little details that we have to adjust. And it's like for sure the teamwork that needs to be updated a little bit. <laughs> like we need to work together a little bit more. But honestly, I think with the exercise of tomorrow, it's gonna be perfect on Saturday. So uh, yeah, I just need to comfort myself that everything's gonna be all right on the concert itself because I'm a little bit stressing. But and how's the stress with you? Um, really low. But <laughs> it's so so comfortable right now. I'm not at all. But <laughs> I don't know. I it's think... just like it's just 50 people, so it's. Like presenting for a classroom. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, like, what's in my mind? Like, at this <laughs> point, I'm not even embarrassed anymore for my voice. The thing that I'm most worried about is that first, like, one, the rhythm will be wrong and I am too fast or too slow with the piano or the other way around. Or we will just, like, have a moment where we don't feel each other and stop completely. And that will be very remarkable, of course, when you're not, like, in the spotlight, you know? So that's the two things that I'm most worried about. But I think nerves will come tomorrow for me. Or the day after tomorrow. The day of the concert. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. Well, no, actually I don't. Because I need someone to comfort me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, um, we're basically a few days later and I've watched the footage of my concert, my little performance. <laughs> and... Um, Honestly, it actually went a little bit worse than I thought it was. Uh, well, for sure, the first song, uh, July, um, I think I had a lot of nerves and you could hear that in my voice. Like, I could not reach those high notes and, like, my voice broke a few times because I was just so stressed. But in a moment, it didn't feel like that. But afterward, when I was looking at the footage, you could really hear this. But then when you look at the second song, you can already tell that it's a big difference. I was way more calm, like still stressed, but way more calm. And you can see that I enjoyed the performance a lot more. So that's something I wanted to sh like share with you guys because I'm a little bit stressed to share like my, my performance with you. Just like keep in mind, it's not the end product. It's like where I'm at right now. And it's not like necessarily good or bad, but it's just like where I'm at right now. And I hope you still enjoy it. Also, one more thing, I really hope that I can keep growing as a performer, as a creator, and that maybe next time you will already hear that it's going better and that hopefully I will keep finding my voice better and better so one day I can perform for other people without having nerves the whole time. Yeah, I don't know, it's a growing process. <laughs> Cause I keep fighting all the way I let you down so I could stay If you want me to leave
So we're uh, back from the concert, we're actually the next day, but I just want to give you a little uh, review of how last evening went. So basically we arrived at 4.30 in the afternoon yesterday and uh, yeah, we were just there to help out my teacher a little bit with like preparing stuff for the evening. And at the end there were about 40 to 45 people, which is really nice because it was my first concert, so it's like not too little people, but also not too much, you know. Um, and then I also got a chance to like meet the other students of her and like we talked about how we were all stressing out about like the concert and yeah just like how long we've been taking cl seeing classes and everything so it was really nice to connect with them as well and to get to know them um, but then yeah we just performed July 1st mm -hmm. in the first half and then in the second half we, per uh, we performed and I'm yours and uh, yeah how did you think it went? Um... Well, first we practiced a little um, on stage before it actually started and um, yeah, I made a few mistakes so I, that was the first time where I actually started stressing a little. <laughs> <laughs> like just before like, yeah, the people came? Just before the show, I didn't stress at all before that. So um, then we did the show, or the show, <laughs> the little <laughs> concert and um, it went quite well. But uh, the second time was better. Yeah, honestly, for me too. Because like mm -hmm. the first time was just like stress and like the first time performing for other people. But then with the second one, actually that was the one I was stressing out a little bit more beforehand. But in the moment itself, I was just like a little, like a little bit less stressed because we already performed one. So yeah, that really helped. And uh, 
yeah, of course there were like some mistakes that we made, of course, but I think overall it was like how it should have gone. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm very proud of us and um, I will do it again. Yeah, that's yeah. all. Well, <laughs> that's all. Guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching <laughs> and uh... goodbye. We'll see you soon again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>